determine the equation of the level curve for the function f of x comma y equals natural log of the quantity two y divided by three x to the fourth for c equals seven. Write the equation in terms of y as a function of x. To determine the equation of a level curve, we set f of x comma y equal to c. But before we do this, let's look at this graphically. Recall each level curve is a 2D graph of the intersection of the surface given by f of x comma y and a plane z equals c where c is a constant. So again, looking at this graphically, on the right we have the graph of the surface given by f of x comma y and these red curves are level curves for the function. These level curves would be the intersection of a plane given by z equals c where c is a constant and the surface. Notice the values of c or the z values are labeled in black. And now to find the equation of the level curve for c equals seven, again, we set f of x comma y equal to c, which gives us the equation natural log of the quantity two y divided by three x to the fourth equals seven. And now we need to work on solving for y because they want the equation in terms of y as a function of x. Notice we have natural log of a quotient, and since natural log x divided by y equals natural log x minus natural log y, we can write the left side as natural log of two y minus natural log of three x to the fourth equals seven. Next, we will isolate natural log two y by adding natural log three x to the fourth to both sides, giving us natural log two y equals natural log three x to the fourth plus seven. We still need to solve for y. To do this, remember that e to the power of natural log x is equal to x. So if we know that natural log two y equals natural log of three x to the fourth plus seven, then it's also true that e to the power of natural log two y must equal e to the power of natural log three x to the fourth plus seven. And now let's simplify on the left e to the power of natural log two y simplifies nicely to two y equals, we need to be careful on the right side. The right side does not simplify to natural log three x to the fourth plus seven. Remember, when multiplying in the bases of the same, we add the exponents, and here we have a sum of exponents. We need to write the right side as e to the power of natural log three x to the fourth, and then times e to the power of seven. Again, when multiplying in the bases of the same, we add the exponents. And now in this form, we can simplify e to the power of natural log three x to the fourth as three x to the fourth. So again, we can now write the equation as two y equals three x to the fourth times e to the seventh. And finally to solve for y, we divide both sides by two. Simplifying, we now have y as a function of x. Let's write the right side as three halves e to the seventh times x to the fourth. Notice three halves e to the seventh would be the coefficient of x to the fourth because three halves e to the seventh is a constant. I hope you found this helpful.